How to say I work, they work, he speaks, we speak. Let's learn the system of Czech verbs today. Welcome to my From Zero to A1 course in Czech. If you're here for the first time, welcome. You can check out the card above to see the full course. And if not, welcome back. Now, take a pen, print out the exercise sheet from the link down below, and let's get started. Maybe you've already seen the four types of Czech verbs. Every Czech verb has an ending. And according to this ending, you can allocate it to one of these four groups. At, it, et, ovat, or irregular verbs, which are just weird exceptions that need to be memorized. Sorry. Take your exercise sheet now and fill in the five verbs in cvičení jedna into their correct group, according to their ending. Dělat, mluvit, jít, pracovat, večeřet. Do you know the meaning of these verbs? If not, try to guess their English translation in your exercise sheet. I guess that was probably quite easy. Here are the answers. Now, look at this smart table. To the first group, at, with the template verb, jelat, belongs also the verb to have, meet, as a single exception. So now go ahead and add this funky verb, meet, into the first group in your switching jedna, so that you can remember it better. Mluvit a večeřet are the template words that belong to the second group, it, et. There also belong three exception verbs that I need you to remember now. Jíst, spát, stát. Jíst means? Yes, to eat. Spát, to sleep. And stát, to stand or to cost. Now, pause the video and add these verbs to the table you filled out in the cvičení jedna. The third group is easy. Whatever ends with ovat belongs here and that's it. No exceptions and pracovat to work will be our template verb, okay? By the way, if you enjoy these lessons, feel free to add me on Instagram or TikTok if you would like to see more short, fun and entertaining content from me as well. The fourth group is the most annoying group as it's just a random list of verbs. And you have no choice but to remember that they are irregular, even though they may end with at, it or et. Fortunately, you won't need to remember too many of them right now. Look at them in switching dva. These are the most common ones that you will need to know to reach the A1 level. Do your best and try to guess their meanings according to the pictures you see. And here are the answers. Okay, this has been a lot of new verbs, I know. Remember that these lessons come along with the memorized course where you can practice all this new vocabulary. So make sure to check it out after this lesson. Link is in the description. And now, why do we have these four groups of verbs? Well, because each group take on different endings when placed next to different personal pronouns like I do, you do, he does. For example, Let's take the template verb from the first group, to do, dělat. If I want to say I do, I exchange the ending at for am. 
I say, yeah. You do, yeah. He does, yeah. We do, yeah. You do, yeah. They do, yeah. Once you remember these new endings, you can successfully conjugate any verb from the first group. So let's say you come across a new verb, obedvat, to have lunch. And seeing as it has the ending at and it's not in your irregular list, it must belong to the first group of verbs. Then you can apply the same ending to make I have lunch, obedvam, you, obedvaš, he, obedva, vi, obedvame, you, obedvate, they, obedvai. Here you can see the full system of the endings that the verbs are taking in the present tense. We will be working more on these in the next couple of lessons, so hit the subscribe button not to miss any of these videos. But what I want you to practice now is to allocate verbs to their correct category, to the correct group, as it's the key to the correct conjugation. Write the verbs in the correct column. Be careful with the irregular verbs. Refer back to exercise two to remember which ones are the irregular ones. Here are the answers. Repeat after me with the correct pronunciation. Cestovat, chodit, číst, čistit si zuby, dělat, hrát, sportovat, jet, jít, jmenovat se, lyžovat, mít, mluvit, Mít se, nakupovat, obědvat, odpočívat, pít, plavat, pracovat, psát, rozumět, snídat, spát, sprchovat se, Studovat, tancovat, telefonovat, uklízet, vařit, večeřet, vstávat. Lastly, complete switching čtyři. Pick five words that are of your interest, which are not used in this video. Write them in the comments below and add the group that they belong to. I'd love to see which verbs you're gonna pick. Great job! If this is your first time learning about verbs, I'm sure that this was quite a big and challenging task. Don't worry, we will be practicing them in the next couple of videos, so feel free to hit that notification bell to be notified when the next lesson comes out. For homework, complete today's lesson in the Memorize course, and if you want more exercises for today's lesson, more challenges, crosswords, puzzles, and other fun learning tools for each one of my lessons, then check out my Patreon as well. As always, keep learning, keep studying, and I'll see you again in the next video. Měj se hezky, díky a ahoj.